The following episode of Dad vs. Daughter was made possible by a contribution from Looney Labs. Hello and welcome to another episode of Dad vs. Daughter. I'm Tim the Dad. I'm the Daughter. Megan, what are we playing today? We are playing Flex the Board Game from Looney Labs. Yes, and if you're very familiar with the Flex games, I think this is going to be very familiar to you. Mm -hmm. uh, if you're familiar with watching these on our channel, you probably already guessed who is going to win, but let's get it to the table and check it out. All right. Flex the board game is really about as easy as flex the card game. Yep. Uh, essentially, we have a uh, nine tile grid here. So you have your start in the middle, and then you have eight uh, pieces that are going to go around the outside. We also have starting colors, and I applaud them because they have blue and green. Yep. I, of course, am going to be starting as green, and Megan will be starting as blue because your color can actually change. Yep. There's also red and yellow, but you know, who cares about those colors? <laughs> um, but we also have uh, a new rule board up here, mm -hmm. and that's gonna keep track of our draw, play, move, our hand size. If we can rotate one of these tiles, or if we can uproot and actually move it mm -hmm. to another spot, uh, or if we can wrap uh, our movement of our pieces around. We are going to also start with five goal cards, and these are the first five after we've shuffled the deck uh, that we reveal, then we reshuffle. Um, but you can always look and see what goal cards are there, uh, but you can't change the order. You can play goal cards from your hand and they will go on top, because what you're gonna do in order to win is you have to actually collect three goal cards. So unlike the card game where the first time, or the first player who meets a goal wins, uh, here you're going to be collecting three of those. As part of setup, we each get to pick which one of the new rules we want to bump one of the pegs on. So, Megan, I'll let you pick first. Um, let's do move three. And I will pick play. play. So play two. we're going to be drawing one, playing two, moving three, and we do not have a hand limit size. Also, we cannot currently rotate, uproot, or wrap around. Um, you can also change the length of the game that you would like. You can, we have it set for three, but you can go all the way up to six. Also like the flex card game, we're each going to start with three cards in our hand. And start player is the first player who says, I want to I go first. first. I think I got that Fine. one. So, Only on technicality, because you were explaining how. Hey, that's all part of it. Sure. All right, we'll give it to you. All right. So uh, you can see that we have uh, pictures on the board. Now we are going to have cards, not keepers. We have leapers. A leaper is going to allow us to take one of our pieces and go directly to a spot uh, that has that matching picture. Now only one of our pieces can be on a leaper space. So if... Let's say that I were to come out here and I had a movement, I can actually bump Megan's piece mm -hmm. and I can bump her down to here or up there. Or if wrap around, you can bump me even over there. I could. Now, these there's an octagon on each one of the tiles. Those can hold any number of pieces. Mm -hmm. We have a magic portal that transports from one uh, to the other. And if you are on the portal to start your turn, it does take one movement to go there. Now, if you are moving on the board and you go to that portal as one movement, then it's basically a free teleport. All right, I think that's pretty much it. So let's get ready to play. All right, so I'm drawing one and playing two. And you can do these in any order. So if you wanna move first and then play your card, that's okay too. So I'm gonna go one, two, and I still have one movement left. Let's go three. And I have to play two cards. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna play an action that says discard and draw. So I'm gonna discard my entire hand, which is three cards, and draw that many cards back. So one, two, three. And I still have to play one. And I don't wanna do that for you. So I'm gonna play a leaper, and I'm gonna to go to milk. 
Um, I'm just looking at your card that you just discarded. I don't know why you didn't change the goal to do that, and then you could have got that goal. Oh, because I could have went there you and there. Need or in one. Well, that's my old brain. Um, I mean, yeah, I was only going to point out after you played it because I'm like, um, okay. Yeah, and one of the things that we do is, uh, in order to keep track of the cards we played, we just play them in front of us until our turn is over so we can see how many yep. we played, and then we just take them and we discard them. Mm -hmm. But you're right. I, I was just I like, that's up. an easy goal. All right, whatever. Okay, so I'm drawing one. I'm playing two. I'm moving three. Trying to be the nice father and let my dog oh. win. Oh, yeah, like how I won the games all before this. Yeah, hey, I won one. Yeah, one out of all of them. Um, do, do, do. let's do. You draw two and use them. Set your hand aside. Draw two cards. Play them in any order you choose. Um. Let's change the goal to winning the lottery. Oh, that's cool. Let me do that. So you're dreaming of money. Yep. And my other one is there. a leaper. So I'll leap there. So that was that action. I can still play another card. Um. Gonna change the goal again. Squishy chocolate. Like, ugh, just the, the imagery of squishy chocolate just ugh, makes me cringe. It's like how some people react to moist. Nice. Ugh. All right, and then I still have three moves. So I'm gonna do one, two, three. Okay. Okay. That's it. It's me. All right, I am drawing one and playing two. So let's change that goal. And I now have three moves. So I can go one, two, three. And because I have the Z's and I have the clock, I get to take that. And once you've completed the goal, nobody can steal it. Yeah. Uh, and that is... That, that is my, your move. My, that is, and I... That was my play, was to put the goal down. You still have another play. It's two play. Oh, it's two play. So We're going to make that hands. hand limit a three. Mm. So instead of being unlimited, just, okay. just because I got it. All right. All right, that's my turn. Okay. Draw one. Um, can I change the goal? Really? Rocket science. You want to pick up the squishy chocolate first? Yeah, you, you know. It cost you two moves. You're right. Right, so you're helping me. Yeah, That's I don't cool. know why. I don't know why either. <laughs> two, so then I'll get squishy chocolate. So you have two moves and you still have uh, one move left. Yeah. And you have two plays. Yeah. So there's my other move. There's my one play. And we are going to do a leaper. It's a pizza. Pizza. Pizza, pizza. All right, I'm drawing one. I'm playing two. Um, well, there's my one. Is I have a leaper to money. Which one do I want to go to the money, money, money? I think I'm going to take this one and go to the money. Nice. And then I am going to do a play more, which says shift the play peg forward one notch. Play so three. I actually can move three. Um, no. Play three, not move. Oh, yeah. That's play. cards. Play, yeah. Uh, which I don't have any more cards, yep. so, yeah, that's it. Uh, but you I move. do have moves. Three moves. Three moves. So. Rocket science. Um, I can go. You would bump me. Yeah. Let's just go. Uh, one, two, three. Okay. Draw one. Two, three. Rocket science. And you're playing two. So yep. you've used your movement. So we're going to do a smaller limit. So it's a two hand limit of two. And we're going to toggle rotate. Ooh. And then we 
rotate. So, okay. Is that it? Oh, that's upright. Sorry. Yes. Rotate. Toggle the right one. That right, is so off. I'm drawing one and playing two. Play three. Playing three, but I only have one. Um, but I have three movement, and so I'm going to go yeah. one, which bumps you to there, mm -hmm. and two. Gets that. And I'll take that as a second goal, and I have one more move, um, and I have a play. Yep. So let's just go ahead and do my move. Um, I'm going to move here. And then my play is to add the new goal, the chocolate extravaganza Ooh. with chocolate and balloons. Okay. So, whoops, these are mine. I'm going to throw those away. Draw one. Play three. We got the one. We're going to move mm. to the eyeball. Eyeball. Um, chocolate and balloons. One, two, two. three. Close as I can get. Okay. Yep. All right. So I'm drawing one, um, and I'm moving three. So I want to go one, two. Which one? Yeah, I'll bump you there. Okay. And I have one more. Um, Heart. Yeah, move to the heart. Yeah. And then I'll play my leaper. To go to the brain. Alright. Brains. Alright, we are changing the goal. Party time. One, two, ah. three. Boom. And I would have won anyway if I didn't have to change the goal. Did you? I would have got to it, yeah. I was like, yeah, we just bump you. Oh, well, that is true. Yay. All right, so that is Flux, the board game. So it plays very much. Uh, as what? far as, you know, it can end just like normal yeah. flux does. So. <laughs>start off on this one um yeah Talk gameplay i like it um i like flux so i was very hopeful that i would like this i think it's pretty cool um you know how you have you know the board components obviously because that's the flux the board game but i like that you can do the wraparound you can move the tiles we haven't really done too much of that with the uprooting or the rotating um, but I do think that is a really cool aspect of it, and I can see with more players how that would, I feel like, come into play more often. Yeah. Um, with really changing the configuration of the board and more of that screw your neighbor aspect, which I do like the bumping. Yes, the bumping, I think, is what is the coolest part of this game. Yeah. I think if you added, like, creepers, that'd be kind of cool. I don't know how, but just, like, some bad stuff. To throw with the other people. Like, like maybe you had to go somewhere on the board to get yeah, rid of the like some Yeah, like somehow, yeah, like some type of thing. I know you pointed out when we were setting up that you kind of wish these were double-sided. Yeah. That could have been something. I thought they could have had different icons on there so that if, you know, a goal came up mm -hmm. and you wanted to basically get rid of that, that would force people yeah. to do flips and things. It would be kind of interesting way of changing the board a little bit more, yeah. Um, but no, I really like it. I think it's cool. Um, I liked it when we got to see it at Gen Con, and I like it still now. I like yeah. it even more. Um, yeah, I, I really like the simplistic gameplay. Uh, and like I said, the bumping is, is mm -hmm. the best part. The leapers, being able to jump to that, uh, having the teleport, I think is really cool. And having the ability to move those pieces yeah. uh, and basically rearrange the board. We've we've done that, I think, in one game. Yeah. Um, but like you said, I think with more players, that's going to be more prevalent in what you're doing. In a game we played off camera, you we were talking about like we changed our colors, which yeah. was kind of interesting. And then I won as green. Yeah. So uh, if you followed our Facebook page and you saw uh, a, a, one of the pictures that was posted that had the my color is green, that was actually Megan stealing yeah. my color, <laughs> which I I like that aspect too because that changed uh, how the board was. That that will that really changes. Um, you strategy know, it does it, and it's 
that, that's another one of those yeah. cool things. There is a little bit more strategy to this than kind of like your regular flux game. Right, because like you cards. can set yourself up yeah. uh, for a goal, especially if you've got a card in your hand. Mm -hmm. You know, you could, um, you know, play that goal, you know, mm -hmm. claim it, and then be able to maybe have yourself set up for the other one. I was kind of worried because I was looking at this one, and I was like, man, these are all like kind of by where you were at, especially with this placement of like... Kind of all those other than the money being over here yeah but like well you were already just like hanging out you all you had to do was move some other ones now what i do want to see is i actually want to see expansions for this where we add new tiles yeah. that are themed to whatever that expansion is Good, so yeah. like star trek, uh, star trek uh, or you know, like Doctor Who, or something mm -hmm. like that, that really plays into this and makes the board a little bit bigger. Yeah, because um, I, I, I think I would like to see the board, or basically have like maybe a stack of tiles, you and you start in. adding. That would be uh, cool. And I think that would be really cool. Mm -hmm. um, but let's talk components. Uh, we did mention already that we wish these would have been double sided, uh, just so that we would have had more of the uh, icons mm -hmm. there. Um, they're nice and thick yeah. and i mean the the cards are the same card stock that you have in normal flux but the other pieces yeah these are cool this kind of look like a traditional like game made me think of like sorry piece almost i know you're like man why is blue the meeple and i just get a dot and i was like well that's kind of cool but he said yeah, it's each, also good for if you're colorblind yeah each color has its own because you get um, your little card piece but even if you know you were colorblind you would still know hey, and I, this is mine and i do like in the rule book when they are showing things uh examples yes. they do actually have that in there so that like when they're, they're showing like the bump here so you can see the different uh, colored pieces there mm -hmm. i'll say i do like this board um again it's really thick cardboard um i like the pegs yeah the pegs are nice they they aren't you know falling out or anything these are really good like they're, they're almost like rubbery no, they're, or they're i guess they're plastic yeah plasticky yeah wooden. they're not wooden yeah they feel wooden kind of no the pieces are nice and wooden yeah um and they're they're good size i mean as far as what they need to be yeah but i think these are nice you know even just this little place for your goal cards to hang out i think that's nice again you know the little toggle isn't moving but yeah i like that too how you can you know change that with the cards and all yeah and, it, cool. and because this is the box size it's a little here. bit bigger than your normal flex box um, um just like it's a little bit taller yeah but so this makes it size. a great travel game uh and, then, some table space and, and if good to go. and if you wanted to take some flux travel games you've got flux around the world and, and uh across america yep uh but so there you'd the, be your trifecta the Looney Lab games are really travel friendly. Yes. Because you've got Lunacy, you know, like the Just Desserts, like all of those are small card game size boxes. Throw them in your backpack, whip them out whenever you've got some free time. And, you know, like Flux, you could make this game longer. Um, it could obviously go longer depending on how quickly you're going through things. So it could be a good filler or you could just sit down and play a couple rounds like we have. And you could easily play this on an airplane too well, uh, because this would fit on the tray and then uh, you could put that on another uh, the adjoining tray. I play this one on the airplane. Yeah, I think I you could. Uh, this is going to be your whole tray. Yeah, well, that's fine. Yeah. You can move things around. I'm just saying that I, I don't know if I'd do the little pieces that. on a plane with turbulence. Well, you'd have to do it, you know, when it's... Not, so, like, turbulent. at the airport, maybe. Oh, not, yeah, at the airport while you're waiting to board a plane? I wouldn't this one on the plane. <laughs> yeah. Okay, but, I mean, but you still could. Like regular flex, I mean, if you... Well, yeah, regular flex could, would be fine. You could probably play that on planes, but yeah. No, but uh, this actually kind of caught me by surprise. I know that uh, Looney Labs has really been promoting this. Mm -hmm. uh, so, if you follow Looney Labs, you know, like on Facebook, I know I was seeing uh, a lot on this. So, yeah, when we went to Gen time. Con... This was our, our first stop, and we were able to check it out, uh, and we liked what we saw, yeah. and you know we got it home, and we've played several games of it. Mm -hmm. Megan has won a majority of those, yes, I have. Uh, but I have won at least one game, yeah. um, but I really enjoy it. The games are fast. Uh, I don't feel like this, where you're in flux, sometimes you kind of have that, oh, the game just keeps mm -hmm. dragging on and on, uh, you know, because the rule, the goals change. Uh, not seen that in in this version no. so i think you know anybody that's worried about that with flux uh doesn't have to really worry about it with this yeah yeah there's not like a time limit on this i mean where no there is 15 to 45 i can't really see this going to 45 it might with three or maybe, four players but maybe four maybe if you're going to six goals possibly but 
I yeah. feel like that's a, that's a high max. So let me just kind of run through uh, some of the cards here. See, you can see the milkshake. Uh, and of course, you know, they always come up with these really neat things. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no funny stuff. Change the rotate a tile, uproot a tile, and wrap around pegs to no. And there's a, a one that has actually has you do that to yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and then you've got the cards that you normally see in Flux. You know, draw three and play two of them. Uh, you know, here's another Leaper. You know, you've got your action cards. You know, shift the wind peg up or down one notch so you get the option. You know, and you know, you just, oh, here, exchange pieces. Yeah. Choose any two pieces on the board and exchange their places. I did that once mm -hmm. in one of the games we played. Yeah. Uh, here you can change the wraparound uh, to on. Um, taxation, each player must choose one card from their hand and give it to you. Mm -hmm. So there are some, you know, that you're going to be very yeah. familiar with. Um, but yeah, this is uh, very, I mean, if you know how to play, play Flux, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to pick this up, you know, real quick. Yeah. Chocolate milk. So, did you have a favorite goal, like um, squishy chocolate? Squishy chocolate just it was like, Ugh. oh, here's I, one. I think it's funny, Swap though. colors. Yeah. yeah, that was fun. I don't know. I mean, they're they're not like you know fandom related, but I still think they're you know they're kind of like tongue in cheek on some of these, which I think you know I like about playing flux and always looking at some of their captions and stuff. And move one of your pieces to the space shown on this card, to octagon. So. Yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, but even if they didn't do, um, you know, like, tied to an IP, there are still plenty of different icons because, like, when we play, you know, Lunacy, there's so many other little picture icons that they have just in, like, the Looney Lab artwork style. Yeah, like so, that little fuzzy alien that you yeah, like so much. I do like the little fuzzy dog alien. You know, you got, like, the cat. There's some other icons. So they can easily, you know, choose some different ones here and add on to. Yeah, so like I said, I would really like to see mm -hmm. uh, an expansion. And like I said, there's a number of different ways that you can introduce new tiles in. Uh, you might even have a stack of tiles mm -hmm. that you can draw one from the stack and That'd replace, kind of cool. you know, one. Yeah. Uh, and have it go to a discard. So uh, because you just sometimes options. have that with regular flux where, you know, a gold card, mm -hmm. you know, you need that keeper and you know that keeper is already in the discard. Yeah. So, you so know, there's that's, some different things you could do. Yeah. Um, I do like that there's, you know, replayability for us. You know, like I said, we're not really changing this, but you We can, didn't in this game. Yeah, but. but, you know, with more players, I could definitely see the board configuration changing, you know, a lot. And, and that's going to change. And th let's point this out because this is totally legal to have your board look like, you know, let's just kind of move things around here. And, you know, you can have it look like this. Mm-hmm. The only stipulation is you can you always have to be able to go from the start tile to every tile, so uh, you can't ever place one diagonal like this yeah. where you cannot get to it. But uh, having something mm -hmm. like that is totally fine. Yeah, but if you had it like this too and wraparounds on, you are able to like jump the bridge. Yeah, so that's pretty neat. Yeah. But yeah, I really like this. I do uh, too. I, like I said, I think if you're a fan of Flux, I think you'll like this. Um, this is this is a really good game. Yeah, it is. Um, I highly recommend it. I'm Add giving it, to it your collection. two thumbs way up. Two thumbs up for me. All right, so that is Flux the Board Game from Looney Labs, and we will catch you guys next time. Bye. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, click that like and subscribe button. Mm -hmm. You can also follow us on social media like Facebook. And Twitter at Dad and Daughter. And if you like what we do and you want to support us, you can visit our Patreon page. So thanks for watching. Thanks.